The state's number one 4A team, Wilmer Hutchins, had a nice week, picking up two playoff wins and advancing to the third round. But as our North Texas Honda dealers inside story shows us, the Eagles are still somehow flying under the radar. Hey, let's go, guys. Game shots and game spot and game speed. Wilmer Hutchins head coach Thomas Billups has a feeling this postseason could be special. I've been coaching for 17 years, and uh, the closest I ever made it was the semifinal. So uh, I could kind of see that these guys had potential to, to make it all the way and hopefully win it. The Eagles are 29-3 and, and ranked number one in the state for Class 4A. Add to that, Wilmer Hutchins has never won a state title in boys basketball, and you have yourself quite a story, except no one is talking about them. In a year where the Metroplex sports six guys in the top 50 players in the nation, somehow the Eagles have been overlooked. I don't think having a big name player, you know, really, really benefits us. You know, we, we, we have good players that play their role and play together. We, we're on the radar. We played Will Baker, takes commit, and we won that game. Then we also played uh, Duckyville. We, we came out with the victory, so I, I guess they were slept on right now. The Eagles feel the player that has been slept on the most is point guard Davian Sanders. South Garland's point guard Tyrese Maxey is Kentucky bound. Geyer's point guard Davion Harmon is headed to Oklahoma. But ask anyone on the Wilmer Hutchins team and they'll tell you that Sanders is just as good as those guys, if not better. I would put him in the, best, in the top five point guards in the state of Texas. You know, He may not be as tall or as, le as athletic as some, but you won't find a, a better floor general uh, to run a basketball team. I feel like he is the top two player in the state as far as a point guard. His speed is unmatched. He's just so true to the point guard position to where even if he has a wide open layup and I'm behind him, he'll give it to me. The majority of the team has played together since they were freshmen and have gelled into a top tier team in the state. If they win three more games next week, they will be heading to San Antonio with a possible date with back-to-back 4A -back champs Silsby. The Tigers are a run-and-gun squad who put up 104 points in last year's final. It's a possible matchup the Eagles embrace. We have to talk about teams like Silsby because we have to go through teams like that. So, you know, we try as a coach, I try to keep it fresh on their mind that, you know, even though we are having this good run, we're still not the state champion. We need to play them because my sophomore year we played them and we wasn't ready. But now we just know who we want to play. Like we really want that matchup and just doing whatever it takes. We will see if the Eagles soar to state, but with Lincoln and Faith family waiting in the wings, it could be tough.